Hi, this is Mark Struthers. Today, we would like to discuss breast cancer grading and staging as well as some basic facts concerning breast cancer. Cancer is caused by both external, chemicals, radiation, and viruses, and internal, hormones, immune conditions, and inherited mutations. Causal factors may act together or in sequence to initiate or promote carcinogenesis. Ten or more years often pass between exposures or mutations and detectable cancer. For cancer to occur, something must damage nucleus of the cell. In a cancerous cell, permanent gene alterations or mutations cause the cell to malfunction. For a cell to become cancerous, usually three to seven different mutations must occur in a single cell. These genetic mutations may take many years to accumulate, but the convergence of mutations enables the cell to become cancerous. Generally speaking, most cancer survival is measured in terms of the five-year survival rate. In situ cancers are early localized tumors. Traditionally, in situ cancers are counted separately from invasive cancers because it is not certain that they will become invasive. The single most important fact about any breast cancer is whether it has grown beyond the milk ducts or lobules of the breast where it first started. When contained within the ducts or lobules, it is in situ, and technically not a cancer but a precursor or possibility to developing breast cancer. Non-invasive cancers stay within the milk ducts or milk lobules in the breast. They do not grow into or invade normal tissues within or beyond the breast. For cancer to occur, something must damage nucleus of the cell. In a cancerous cell, permanent gene alterations or mutations cause the cell to malfunction. For a cell to become cancerous, usually three to seven different mutations must occur in a single cell. But the convergence of mutations enables the cell to become cancerous. Characteristics of cancer and unrestricted or unregulated growth. Cancer growth is invasive. The cancer cells invade other structures, tissues, or organs, and often disrupt their function. Cancer spreads or metastasizes throughout the body. The growth rate of cancer may be faster or slower than that of normal cells. Cancer cells are often not completely formed or immature. Breast cancer occurs as a result of accumulating changes in key genes that control a cell's ability to divide, mature, and die. If the cancer has grown beyond where it started, it is called invasive. Most cancers are invasive. Sometimes cancer cells can also spread to other parts of the body through the blood or lymph system. The cancer is then called metastic. Characteristics of cancer and unrestricted or unregulated growth. Cancer growth is invasive. The cancer cells invade other structures, tissues, or organs and often disrupt their function. Cancer spreads or metastasizes throughout the body. The growth rate of cancer may be faster or slower than that of normal cells. Cancer cells are often not completely formed. Cancer classification is based upon histogenesis, anatomic site, and degree of differentiation. Carcinomas, 90% of all human cancers, arise from epithelial tissues. Sarcomas arise from bone and connective tissue, mesenchymal tissues. Lymphomas arise from lymphatic tissues, nodes, tonsils, spleen, etc. Leukemias arise from blood cell. If cancer cells break off from the primary tumor, they may travel to distant sites in the body, invading vital organs such as the brain, bone, liver, or lung, and establish new tumors. When these vital organs fail, it can be fatal. As the tumor grows in size, it may invade surrounding or distant tissues. That is why early detection and treatment are so important. It increases the chances of removing the tumor when it is small, before it has grown and invaded other tissues. Smaller is better. Differentiation refers to the degree of resemblance a cancer has to its tissue of origin. A well-differentiated cancer still resembles the tissue it arose from. A poorly differentiated or undifferentiated cancer does not resemble the cell of origin. Grading indicates how aggressive a tumor may be. Grade I equals well differentiated, least aggressive. Grade II equals moderately aggressive. Grade III equals more aggressive. Grade IV equals undifferentiated, most aggressive. Staging indicates the extent of disease at the time of diagnosis. Takes into account the size of the tumor, 
T stage. Any lymph node involvement, N stage, and metastases that may have occurred, M stage. Collectively referred to as the TNM staging system. The T category is the apparent extent of the tumor. T1 equals tumor confined to site of origin. T2 equals tumor has extension to adjacent tissues. T3 equals advanced tumor, invading regional area. T4 equals massive tumor, in category established by number, size, and location of affected lymph nodes. N1 equals limited nodes involved, node small, less than 3 cm. N2 equals 3 to 5 cm in size slash multiple nodes. N3 equals greater than 6 cm in size slash multiple nodes. N4 equals nodes beyond the first echelon. If metastases has occurred, patients may receive palliative rather than curative treatment. When that spread or metastasis is outside the region of the primary tumor, the patient has distant metastasis. The M value is assessed by physical exam, laboratory studies, and imaging studies. M staging indicates the presence or absence of metastases spread beyond the initial site. Prognostic values play a vital role in the effective management of breast cancer by guiding treatment decisions, personalizing care, stratifying risk, predicting survival rates, and informing research and policy. Prognostic factors are crucial in determining the course and outcome of the disease. Generally speaking, most cancer survival is measured in terms of the five-year survival rate. Thank you once more for your time and attention. There are a number of presentations on my channel, Mark Struthers YouTube channel, that can add greater depth to this presentation for women, men, and LBGTQ persons. Remember breast cancer is not a disease restricted to just women and adults. Please subscribe to the channel for more presentations about radiology and medical imaging.